Hello and welcome to Shiny Crochet. Today we are making a lemon peel dishcloth. In this video, I am using 8 ply cotton yarn with a 4.5mm hook. I use US terminology in my patterns. See description for translation to UK terminology. This pattern is available as a PDF on Ravelry also. See description for the link. If you have any questions, please leave a detailed comment below so I can help. We begin with a chain base. You can extend or shorten as you need for making it bigger or smaller. Starting with 18 chains. 1 2 3 4 16 17 18 then working back along the chain, complete alternating single crochet, then double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet, repeating all the way to the end. If you're finding that it's scrunching up too much or there's too many holes, you may need to go up a hook or down a hook to adjust to your yarn because yarn tends to vary in thickness even when it is the same ply, particularly with cotton yarn in my experience. I recommend using cotton yarn as it is very easy to clean and it can be boiled off, which is great for dishcloths to keep them nice and hygienic. For washing mine, I just throw them in the washing machine, but I've also heard others putting them in their dishwasher or just washing them up by hand when they do the dishes. It doesn't matter which of these you end on, because on the next row we'll just do the opposite. Chain 1 and turn when you reach the end. Note the last stitch on the row below and we'll do the opposite to begin the next. So if you did a double crochet, you will begin the next row with a single. And if you finished with a single crochet, then you will do a double. When starting a new row with a double crochet, I'd do a single crochet, then chain one to represent the double crochet. Continue the pattern all the way along. Note how the top of this row is now flat because it is opposing to the row below. And then do the same when starting the third row. Note the last stitch on the row below and we'll do the opposite to begin the next. So if you did a double crochet, you will begin the next row with a single. And if you finished with a single crochet, then you will do a double. I continue this along until it is roughly a square shape. I base this by eye because it is going to stretch out over time and potentially go a bit rectangular. This stitch can be tricky to count the rows, so I don't worry about that too much on this particular pattern. Just go until it is the length you desire. I would love to see your makes with this. You can share on social media by tagging me at shiny crochet or by creating a project on Ravelry and tagging the pattern. That way it will share for other people to see how you use this pattern also.
right, now we're going to start the border. When I finish the last row that I'm going to work on, I chain one, but I don't turn the work. I then complete a single crochet in the end of the last stitch, chain two, then single crochet again into that same space. This will be the first corner. I then single crochet across all the way down the edge of the border. Doing one single crochet in each gap. You may need to adjust what counts as a gap by adding or removing single crochet as you work along. If yours is turning out wavy, then there are too many stitches and you just need to do fewer. And if it's bunching up or causing a curve, then you need to do more stitches to keep it nice and even. Once we get to the opposite corner, we'll do the same thing as before with a single crochet, chain two, then single crochet into the same space. We will now single crochet along the bottom into the chain spaces of the starting row. Once we get to the next corner, we will do the same thing with a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then work back up the other side, doing as many single crochet per row as you need to keep it nice and square. On this final corner is where I put the loop. We will do the same thing with a single crochet, chain 20, one, two, three. You may do more or less according to how you will hang this up, but I find 20 works well for hanging over our tap. 18, 19, 20. Slip stitch to the first stitch, then single crochet again into the same space as the start. Then work along single crochet to finish off this row. Slip stitch to end the row and tie off. So in the ends, And we're all done. 
These are great as a dishcloth, body cloth and more. If you've enjoyed this pattern, please like the video and subscribe. Drop a comment below if you have ideas on other ways to use this fantastic stitch. Have a lovely day.